circuit shown here is known as bridge current amplifier. We have we have B reference, we have B out, we have R feedback, and we have four resistors connected like this, three of them the same value, and one of them is a slightly different R times one plus delta, in which we make the assumption that delta is very small, much less than one, and R feedback is much larger than R. We want to prove that B out is related to V ref via this simple formula, um, and it's basically a current amplification. To do that, um, I want to find the Thevenin voltage, Thevenin equivalent for this combination here so that the circuit is simplified. And uh, therefore, I have this circuit ready here. So uh, for the combination of these four resistors, I am trying to find what V Thevenin, as you see here, plus minus, we can observe and one, what overall resistance or resistor R Thevenin we can observe. One side note, this op amp can be any of the uh, let's say proper high-speed op amps. For example, the Pegasus instrument has a good set of high-speed video op uh, wideband operational amplifiers, LMH, for example, uh, 6714, and the uh, rest of them. Uh, maybe a better view is uh, this one, which basically is the view of these options. For example, there's a six-pin package for one op amp, or there could be 14-pin package for the quad op amp or quad operational amplifier version of it, which is LMH 6722. So any of these can be used. These are uh, high speed can go up to a few hundred megahertz. So um, with that in mind, then uh, with op amp properly biased, the supply voltage for this op amp need to be properly connected. Let's say uh, positive supply and negative supplies are properly connected so that op amp is operating in a linear region of operation. And therefore, virtual short, assuming the negative feedback is dominant, virtual short is valid for this op amp, meaning that voltage at the positive input terminal at, for the op amp should be equal to the voltage at the negative input terminal. So let's keep that in mind. That's the important relationship. Let's say equation one. Now, going back to the Thevenin equivalent here, I want to find V Thevenin. Basically, it means keep these um, terminals open and find what voltage is seen between these two nodes. So on one side, you can see VREF is divided between R and R in this branch on the right side. So it's simply uh, VREF divided by 2.5 VREF here observed. So 0.5 VREF. On the other side, we have a voltage division between R and R times 1 plus delta. So for, uh, let's say, this voltage here, VA, uh, let's say, I would uh, see VA is simply um, so let me write it this way. So VA is simply equal to uh, a voltage division between R1 plus delta. So that's the voltage across R times 1 plus delta and uh, the series of R and R times 1 plus delta. This, of course, becomes obviously uh, 1 plus delta divided by 2 plus delta times... Uh, oh, I forgot the VREF. So... Uh, let's keep this in mind that this is a voltage division, so it needs to be multiplied by VREF, so times VREF on top here, so times VREF. Therefore, we get uh, 1 plus delta divided by 2 plus delta, and R and R cancel out from numerator denominator times VREF, VR, let's say. And uh, this 1 plus delta divided by 2 plus delta uh, can be simplified further in the sense that uh, because it's important relationship, I'm going to do it, an important equation, I'm going to use it a couple of times. Let me do it here. So 1 plus delta divided by 2 plus delta is uh, multiply both numerator denominator by uh, 2 minus delta. So 1 plus delta times uh, 2 minus delta divided by, uh, of course, 4 minus delta squared. And uh, delta is much less than 1, so we can say delta squared is roughly 0. And uh, this approximately become, uh, as you multiply these, it become two, and then you see that it become minus delta plus two delta, so it become two plus delta divided by four. So effectively, it's a 0.5 plus delta over two. All I'm trying to say is this one is roughly 0.5 plus delta over two, uh, delta over four, as we found here, so delta over four, from here times VREF. Okay, so that's the that's the voltage for VA. Now, V Thevenin is the delta between them. So as a result, 
what I get is uh, V Tevenin or Tevenin equivalent or voltage equivalent is this voltage minus 0.5 VREF between these two terminals. So it become obviously delta uh, over 4 times VREF. That is equation number 2 that I need. Now, for the equivalent resistance, I just all I need is again use uh, look at look through these uh, two, two terminals through this port and uh, shut down VREF by uh, by setting it to zero, which means that this node on top is grounded. And then I want to find uh, uh, equivalent resistor. So in that sense, the circuit equivalence become when I want to find the uh, equivalent resistance, it becomes something like this. So I have this terminal on the left side. Then I have on top. Then I have on top R goes to um, zero. So I have this situation that on top R goes to ground and uh, bottom R times one plus delta goes to ground. And on the other side, we can see that we have R go to ground on the um, right side of the circuit. And we have another R. So looking from, let's say, VA and uh, the other terminal VB. So VA and looking into, let's say, VB. So obviously what we see between the VA and VB would be uh, on one side R over 2. And on the other side, we can see that it's uh, the parallel of R and R1 plus delta. So on this side, I am confident it's uh, straightforward. So it is this, these two effectively is R parallel R, which is R over 2 or 0.5 R. This part is the parallel of these two register, which we need to compute quickly. So R parallel of parallel with R plus um, R times 1 plus delta become equal to R times 1 plus delta times R divide by the sum of these two resistors, which means uh, uh, R plus R times 1 plus delta, which is effectively R times 2 plus delta. Again, 1 R cancel out. And we get to similar situation as we had at the bottom. So we get to 1 plus delta divided by 2 plus delta, which we approximated by 0.5. So effectively, this is roughly uh, 0.5 plus delta over 4 times R. OK, great. So we found this equivalent resistor. So 0.5, I'm going to write it here so that I'm leaving some space for things I'm going to write on top. 0.5 plus delta over 4 times R. Now, uh, we need to add these two together to see the resistor between VA and VB. So effectively, we found the uh, voltage and uh, resistor, the Thevenin voltage and Thevenin resistor equivalent for this uh, branch of four resistors. We can rewrite or resketch the circuit like this. I'm going to move this um, uh, equation number one, which is effectively the virtual short understanding. So I'm going to move it here. Okay, now I'm going to resketch the, uh, the whole diagram in a simpler way. So I can resketch it this way. I have um, an heaven and resistor equivalent. So I'm going to, maybe I, I show it this way. Maybe I show it this way. So I have a heaven and equivalent R heaven, which is the sum of, uh, which is the sum of point 5R and 0.5R delta over 4 times R. So this guy, I'm going to write it. So R Thevenin is the sum of um, these two resistors I highlighted, which is effectively R plus delta over 4R. OK, so we know that. Um, Therefore, we have also a V Thevenin, which uh, is plus minus this way, because we have a larger resistor R times 1 plus delta. So be careful about the uh, 
polarity of this determinant. And then we have the connection since we measured um, between these two terminals that I'm highlighting. So it, it, they are between these, or effectively they are between the positive and negative terminals of the op amp. So this is my op amp. And uh, we have a steel connection RF to ground. And we have the connection from negative terminal RF to the output. So now the circuit is much simpler. Uh, there is a current that is in this circuit. There is a current that is flowing this way. So there is a current that is flowing this way. It is going like this. Cannot go through the input terminals of the op amp because the ideal op amp has infinite impedance, input impedance. And then it goes like this and cannot go again through the input terminal of op amp and goes down. So there is a voltage drop here across this RF. But the thing is, because of virtual short, voltage here at the negative terminal is the same as voltage here at the positive. Basically, voltage drop across RT should match the VT so that they cancel out each other. And uh, we get to the current flowing to RF as well. Effectively, what I'm trying to say, if this current is I, then what we get, because as I said, uh, the V negative and V positive because of the virtual short are they equal, we can say V out, let me write it here. We can say V out is equal to uh, RFI plus RFI, as I said, because the negative and positive are the same voltage because of virtual short. So effectively V out is two times RFI. Now, what is I? Well, the voltage drop across RT when I is flowing through RT should be the same as VT cancelling out each other. So as a result, I should be um, just VT divided by RT. Which is, therefore, now VT, RT is what we found, R plus delta over 4 um, times R. So let's name this equation 3. So I'm going to use equation 3 then. And uh, as a result, I'm going to just say uh, we get 2 times RF. And then for RT, I'm going to write R times 1 plus delta over 4. And for VT, I'm going to use equation from 2. So from 2 and 3, uh, I'm going to substitute VT with delta by delta over 4 times VREF. OK, so um, what is the consequence of this? Um, as you can see, um, we got to, uh, if we further simplify this, I'm going to change the color so that it is uh, in this busy write-up, it's clear. So I'm going to switch back to black color. And then we get, again, V out is equal to uh, 2 and 4 cancel out. So you get your, if you get, we get the target uh, delta over 2. And uh, we get RF divided by R times 1 plus delta over 4. Well, because delta is much less than 1, and especially delta over 4 is much less than 1, we can say approximately uh, we get RF over R. And uh, I guess, uh, and the only, thing, the, only, the only other thing remaining is VREF. So let me shift this to the other side so that it looks uh, nicer. But we got what we wanted. So this is what we got effectively out of this one. And uh, this is the final target that I wanted to prove we get for this uh, breach current amplifier. I hope that this example is helpful.